Welcome back to Thai Thailand XOX. I'm really excited to show you this easy vampire look for Halloween today. Here's a quick look of the products that I will be highlighting for you today. Thank you so much to Kimberly J. Holmes for being a sponsor of this video. Thank you so much for all of these beautiful products. I'm going to start off by moisturizing my lips with this super cute chapstick here. And then we're going to get started off with the Morphe primer for your eyelids with a little fluffy brush. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. So now let's dive into this Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to start with the color Oh Hello and put that all over my lid. And here you will see me patting as well as smoothing over this eyeshadow. It's very pigmented, which I like. Now I'm just building upon the color to make it even more pigmented and rich. Now I'm going in with my blending brush and I am blending out all of the harsh lines on my eyeshadow. Now for the sultry color of black, which is called Temptress, and I am putting this in the corner of my lid and blending it up and over. Now for the fun part, blend, 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 and blend some more. Blending this all in the crease of my eye to give it a very even look. The only real technique in this look is blending. You're going to build it up and out and blend. Blend, 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 and blend some more. So now I'm gonna repeat these steps on my other eye. And as you ladies and gentlemen know, the hardest thing is to replicate a look on the other eye and my other eye is being stubborn I had to blend and work with this even more than the other eye um, and just so you know if you didn't know the morphe primer for your eyelids is really really good but it does qu dry quickly so you have to move quickly with it but the good thing is as long as you have a little bit of patience and you don't mind blending you can still get the look that you're looking for. Now for my brows, I want to give them a stronger look. So I'm using an angle brush in the color Temptress again, which is a black. And I am doing natural hair strokes and giving them a nice, bold, vampire-esque look. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna be using glitter and the glitter glue that I got from Sally's. This is a NYX glitter in the color Rose. I like to tap the bottom to get the glitter in the cap and then I take the gel and just put it all over my lid. I've tried a lot of glitter glues and this is my favorite. It's not harsh, it doesn't sting. It glides on and it lasts all night for me. You do get a little bit of fallout, but I haven't found any glitter glue that hasn't given you a little bit of fallout. So now I am putting the glitter right on. I'm patting it right onto my eyelid in the places that I want the glitter to be. Now I'm going to repeat this step on the other eyelid.
I'm going in with an unscented baby wipe to wipe away the excess glitter and eyeshadow. And I am giving a sharp crisp to the edge of my eyeshadow as well. Thank you, Kimberly J, for a larger bottle than I usually buy of the Advanced Night Repair by Estee Lauder, the serum, and I'm putting that all over my face, rubbing it in, in very well to help prime. Then for the revitalizing Estee Lauder moisturizer, now I'm going to mix my Fenty and my Maybelline to get the desired look. I do like to make my foundation a little bit darker than I am because I notice that when it's true to match, I get a little bit of flashback and I look a little ghostly and nobody wants to look ghostly. Next, I am mixing the formula and making sure that it is mixed very well so that I have an even coverage. I'm spraying a little rose water on my beauty blender and I am going in and beating my face with this beautiful custom color that I made. I know some people go for a very pale vampire look, but that's not what I was going for. There's nothing wrong if that's what you like to look with your Halloween look, but I like mine to still look very warm and rich. Concealing is always a must underneath the eyes and the nose. I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder just to set this foundation and I'm going to put it all over my face. Here I am trying out the Kat Von D Lash Eyeliner and you guys, I do not like this product at all. It really burned my eyes you're supposed to be able to put it underneath your eye it dries really quickly it stung my eye I kept trying it just to see if I could help it but it does not work out at all for me I end up wiping it off since that was a bust I go in with my waterproof eyeliner and line underneath both of my eyes. I go ahead and touch that up with a little bit more concealer underneath both eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of Pablo and just smoke out underneath my eyes with a very skinny brush. Let's go in with the Ace Beauty palette and do our normal contour, but I'm going to be using slightly deeper shades than I normally would just to give it more of a vampire look. I'm just contouring my nose and blending it out as I go. All right, so let's get into the highlighter with the Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek trio and i am putting this on my jawbone to make it pop and give myself more of a vampire-esque look let's get our lashes on with the so fire lash liner that acts as a liner and a glue for easy application. I'm doing a traditional cat eye, just a thin line. I don't want to take anything away from my eye makeup. Now for the Sofire lashes in the style Emerald. 
and I am just going to pop these right on. I'm just fanning my lashes out and making sure that they blend nicely. Let's do the other side now. Sorry that I'm a little off camera applying these lashes. So let's go for a very dark lip with a black liner and I'm going to slightly overline these baby lips. In the center of my lip, I'm using the lip liner called Wet n Wild, I Got the Juice, and I am blending those two colors together. Next up, I am taking that gel glitter primer and putting it on my lips in order for the glitter to stay on my lips, and I'm just patting the glitter onto my lips. You might be wondering why I bothered to put a color underneath the glitter, and that's because as you eat and talk, some of the glitter will flake off, but you still wanna have some type of color underneath your lips so that your lips are not just naked. You still will have a done up look nevertheless. And after this, this pretty much completes my look for today. All I did was add my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feather neck choker, and this is a look, honey. Vampire-esque, here I come. Thank you again to Kimberly J. Holmes for sponsoring all of the products that you see today in this video. I really, really appreciate your continued support and love. If you're looking to buy, sell, or rent a home, please check out Kimberly J. Holmes for all of your home needs. Please check out my fellow YouTuber, Zari the Goddess. She sings on her channel. She talks about her daily life as well as life with the pandemic. Check her out. Thank you for watching my easy Halloween vampire look. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.